Welcome to Kenan Thousand Sci-Fi Station. So I've just watched all of the Disney Plus series Obi Wan Kenobi, and I thought I'd give a spoiler-free review of it in quick sort of form. Now it's clearly set between the end of the prequel trilogy and the original trilogy from my childhood which if you've seen these films does come with a certain problem that you kind of know who will get through to the end and vaguely you know some parameters of what can and cannot happen which does ruin a certain bit of the tension if you were to sit and watch all of this Star Wars stuff that now exists and you'd never seen any of it before from start to end it would tell one heck of a story that twists and turns but for those of us who are older and we're seeing it in release sequence not time frame sequence a few things are sort of spoiled but I still think they've done an amazing job with it you are excited to see what happens next and you're excited to see the way people interact you get some relationships in this which you would have liked to have seen before and now you can see how these two characters get on or what they think of each other and not to spoil it too much but you do get some really great Kenobi Vader interaction Ewan McGregor is amazing as Ben Kenobi I have to admit, I've always loved him as an actor, but when they said he was taking on the Alec Guinness role of Ben Kenobi back originally, I was like, eh, I don't know if I can see somebody else as that character. But no, he has owned this character, and he's done such a great job as he's gone from film to film to series, trying to take a young Kenobi who he introduced and slowly show how he would become the old man Alec Guinness Kenobi and you know hats off to him he is as much Ben Kenobi now as Alec Guinness ever was some people have had some minor gripes about this show they've picked at this or that or but in honesty don't listen to any of it watch it it's a great show, there's great effects, there's some brilliant acting and it definitely fills in some of that uh, gap between the films. All in all, it's brilliant. I didn't love it quite as much as The Mandalorian because I appreciate The Mandalorian showing us a different side of the Star Wars universe but I really enjoyed Kenobi. I would go into it in more detail but I really don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. I think it's a good show. And if Disney Plus keeps churning out shows like Kenobi, Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, I think the Star Wars universe is in safe hands. This stuff has been a lot better than the last three films were, in my opinion. Okay, that's uh, Kerr9000 signing out, saying, may the force be with you, always. Hi and thanks for checking out my video and making it to the end. If you'd like to subscribe, there's a little thing down there. Yep, yep, there. And you should also see some links to some other videos on the screen now. I make reviews of horror films, video games, sci-fi films and all sorts of stuff. Or you can catch me on J Arcade. Okay, take care. Have a great day. Bye.